Um, the next speaker is Honorable Mulder. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. <coughs> Honorable Minister, I would like to start off by <coughs> saying thank you to thousands of good, honest, hard-working civil servants, because we do have those. And we respect them for what they are doing. But unfortunately, Honorable uh, Chairperson, the question is, are they in the majority or are they in the minority? When it was mentioned earlier today that the budget in terms of expenditure was 5% of the total wage bill of total government expenses in 94 was 5%. But it increased to more than 40% in 2017. Then we should all understand and realize that we are seriously in trouble. And the reason for that is very simple. Government is committed to job creation. I understand that. But under completely a wrong approach. It's not the task of government to use the civil service to create jobs. That's wrong. You can never do that. And there we differ fundamentally in principle with government because we believe that the private sector should be made assisted to create jobs and to, to, to allow the economy to grow. That's not happening. You cannot create jobs with the civil service that are totally bloated and with this enormous wage bill, it will destroy us. But there are things that concern me, Honorable Minister. Are you aware that the Treasury's Procurement Office found that there are 12,000 deceased people, deceased people, on the register of companies that are doing business with the state? 12,000. And I'll come back to that. But it's more, it's more worrying. The Treasury's Procurement Office found there are 14,000 civil servants who serve as directors of companies who have contracts with the state. How is that possible? Why on earth should a civil servant be doing business with the state? Why? Give me a good reason. Why? A civil servant is supposed to have a good salary and to serve the public and to serve South Africa. They should not be in a position where they are using their position to get hold of contracts. That same office found that fraud and inflated prices cost the state approximately 40% or 600 billion for goods and services. And I've seen that myself. I was able to visit, unfortunately, the Nkandla situation. More than 262 million rands were spent there. You won't find 50 million in value there. But somebody paid 262 million. That's where the money is going. That's why we've got the corruption problem in South Africa. That's why things are going completely wrong. Those 12,000 deceased people on the register, you know what they do? It is corrupt officials who create fake companies and use those deceased people's particulars, I'm and then sorry, those Mr. corrupt Mjolder, companies bid too high, and then they get the contract. Minister, you're we're in trouble. expired, Mr. Yes, Mulder. Thank, Thank you. you.